So in this video, I'm going to introduce a lot of you guys to the wonderful and expensive world of Hedgehog Studios. Now, a few years ago, I did a video where I customized my 2013 Shimano Metanium with a lot of aftermarket dress up parts and some ceramic hybrid spool bearings. And all of those parts I got from Hedgehog Studios. It's like a one stop shop for customizing your bait caster or even your spinning reel as well. Now, Hedgehog Studios is located in Japan and they sell all the major and popular JDM brands of aftermarket parts. And recently, they also started carrying original factory parts for Shimano and Daiwa for those of you who prefer factory over aftermarket. So, with that being said, let us begin. Okay, so here we are on Hedgehog Studios' main webpage. And there is a lot of information here. A lot of pictures, a lot of words, a lot of brands you probably never even heard of. So for anyone who is coming to this site for the very first time, I'm pretty sure it can be pretty overwhelming. And I think we're almost down to the bottom. Yeah, so yeah, there's a lot of information on Hedgehog Studios main site, but I'm gonna show you how to navigate this site very, very easily. But before we do that, I just wanna show you guys this list right here. So right now, the only parts that they carry are for JDM Shimano, Daiwa, Abu Garcia, and Mega Bass, which is basically dressed up Daiwa reels. So if you own a brand like Luz or Quantum or any other non Shimano, Daiwa or Abu Garcia brand, then unfortunately a lot of these dress up parts and particularly aftermarket spools are not gonna be available for you. But the good news is you can still get ball bearings and handles and knobs because I believe pretty much all the Korean OEM brands use the same size handle and knobs and bearings as Abu Garcia. So with that being said, let us begin. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of this main page. Right over here, you'll see a column. It's gonna show you all the brands that they sell. So you see they sell Avail, ZPI, Revive, um, Leave Race, Duo, Composite. A lot of brands you guys have probably never even heard of. And you can also search by parts if you want, spool bearings, dress up, color screws, spools. Now I know it says here for Fluger and Tailwalk, but just ignore that. They haven't updated the section for years. You can see you can get uh, different aftermarket drag stars, handles, knobs. And yes, even for spinning reels, you have bearing kits available, different color parts for different parts of the spinning reels, spools, different handles for your spinning reel, and then of course you got grease and bearing oil, and then all the parts you need to work on your reel like your spool bearing pin remover, wrenches, and things like that. Now scrolling back up to the top, what you see here are your new arrivals over on this section. So you can see there are a ton of new arrivals. You can see that there's actually a aftermarket spool already available for the SLX BFS. So that should work in the Corrado BFS. But it's basically just a rebadged version of the spool they were selling for the Scorpion BFS. You can see that you can actually get a spare Daiwa Gekabijin Air TWPE special spool. If for some reason you've damaged yours in the short time, that reel's been out. But you can see that they want $176 for it. That is, that's crazy. That's almost as much as a Corrado BFS reel itself, just for that spool. You can see they sell the new, I guess, ZPI Zelos handles and knob assemblies. For those of you who keep up with ZPI, you know they've been spamming 
this new Zelos core handle on Instagram for a few weeks now. There's uh, aftermarket thumb bars for Shimano and Daiwa. I believe Abu Garcia as well. So basically all sorts of different aftermarket dress up and tune up parts. And recently they started offering original factory parts for Shimano and Daiwa in case you prefer that over aftermarket. So with all this information, I know it can be very confusing but the easiest way, whether you're new to this site or a veteran at buying these parts like I am, is just to come to this section right here, which I'm circling. It says Shimano Daiwa Abu Garcia Bait Casting Real Custom Parts. So if you click on that, you'll see some examples. And they have it broken down into the different brands. So Shimano up top, Daiwa, Abu Garcia, Isuzu, and it says Fluger, but just ignore Fluger. They don't make any parts for them anymore. So let's go to Shimano first. Let's say you want to get some spool bearings and some dress up parts for your, let's say, Metanium. So you click on Shimano, and of course you find your series of reel, and we're clicking on Metanium. And it's going to show all the different generations of Metanium they carry parts for. So here's the current 2020. Here's a 2016 MGL. Here's the Metanium DC. The 2013. Here's the 05. 07 and 08 so it goes all the way back to maybe even the original Metanium you can see it says 92 Metanium XT Wow so let's say you have a 2016 Metanium and you want to buy some parts so right here under 2016 Metanium it shows you all the parts they sell for this reel so there's a screw set a level wine cap set level wine shaft level wine pipe mechanical brake knob, ZPI color mechanical cap. I mean, look at all of this. And you can see it says offset handle. So let's just click on offset handle. And it'll bring you to, I guess, all the handles that'll fit onto the 2016 Metanium MGL. And I guess the parts that go along with it. So let's go back and also you'll see that there's a list of all the available aftermarket spools for the Metanium. So you got your factory spare spool, you got your Umea factory deep spool, they sold a couple of ZPI spools, it looks like a couple of Avail microcast spools. So let's click on that. We'll click on the spare spool. So if you prefer the factory original spool, you can buy that here. Uh, let's click on, let's say the microcast spool. So right here it brings you to the Avail microcast spool for the Metanium MGL 2016. You can see all the colors. It gives you some information as far as the weight, etc., etc., and it even gives you information on how to, I guess, change parts out with these pictorial diagrams. And this is probably going to be the most useful tool for you guys is the bearings. So let's say you want to get some bearings for your metanium. You come down. And it says Katabi Spool Bearing Upgrade Kit. And it actually shows you the size. So it says 1150 by 1030. So you click on that. And it brings you to all the aftermarket bearings that they sell for the 2016 Metanium MGL. And these are kits. So since the spool bearings are two different sizes, one is an 1150 and one is a 1030, they sell the kits for the Metanium. So you just pick out the ones you want. Let's say we want to get the Air HD. And it gives you a lot of information on these bearings. 
And there's a little diagram here of, I guess, the optimum lure weight for the bearings. And it shows you where the bearings are on some reels. Like here's the uh, 16 metanium. There's the spool shaft bearing, and then there's the other bearing located in the brake hub. Gives you some instructions on how to use the spool bearing pin remover tool some Q&A, possibly some other things you might need like some uh, bearing oil. But yeah, on this one page, you'll see that whatever reel you have, it'll give you a list of all the parts that they have available for your particular reel. So let's go to, I guess, a Daiwa. So I'm gonna go back to the home page go to this little section here and we'll click on Daiwa now so let's say you want to I guess customize or maybe tune up your Tatula which of course is Daiwa's best-selling lineup and you'll see they have all the Tatulas listed in the year they came out so the 21 Tatula 3 and 400 size the 2020 New SV, the 2019 Tatula 100, 2017 Tatula SVTW, the JDM Tatula Hyper Long Cast, and all the way down even to the original Type R. And then don't forget the Tatula CTs, they have those here as well. But let's go to the, I guess, the old 2017 Tatula SVTW, which is a very popular reel. And you can see they have a lot of parts available for this reel. It looks like there's a couple of spool options from ZPI. Not sure if they make them anymore, but nope, they still have them. And let's check out this other one. No, that's the same one. And here's the bearing upgrade kit. So the 17 Tattoo SV uses a 1030 and a 830 bearing. So click on that. It's got the kits all laid out here. You just pick the one you want. You can see there's all sorts of dress up parts as well. They got your ZPI drag star in different colors here. They got your SLP Works, which is, I guess, an official branch of Daiwa that creates aftermarket parts. You can buy them here. See all the colors. And here's all the, I guess, handle options available. You just have to find, you know, the Tatula SV 2017 in this big list of uh, pages of aftermarket handles and it looks like they even have real schematics so yeah the best way to I guess buy parts for your particular reel is once again just avoid all this stuff over here and just come to this page and they'll just break it down to, by brand and then of course after that they break it down by the series of reel and then under each model it's going to show you all the different optional parts bearings handles knobs etc etc for your reel so before we go let's just do i guess an abu garcia for all you abu garcia guys and let's see here revo 2016 which is what we're currently in now we're in this generation of reel and once again these are for JDM models but as you know a lot of these cross over into the American models so I'm pretty sure a lot of these parts will work for your Revo SX or maybe your STX or Premier but yeah all this works for Abu Garcia as well and yeah that's pretty much it it's literally a one-stop shop for all your customizing and tuning needs but once again just be prepared to spend a lot of money 
because these are not cheap Chinese AliExpress parts. These are, you know, Japanese JDM parts. Now, I'm not sure where they're made, but since it's a Japanese brand, you can be assured of the quality, fit and finish, and that comes with a price, of course. So yeah, this is Hedgehog Studios. A lot of you guys probably heard of me talking about this site, but never knew what I was talking about. But yeah, a lot of us JDM enthusiast guys knew about this site for several years now. And once again, I customized my 2013 Metanium and I think all the parts I got for that reel came from this site. So I hope this helps you out. I do recommend, you know, don't drink and then come to this site drunk and then just buy, you know, several hundred dollars worth of parts and then forget about it and then they show up at your door. You kind of got to use some restraint when shopping here. All right, guys, thanks a lot.